Hi everybody, this is Matt. We're going to start a series on the sensory organs and today we're going to start with the eye. And again, I'd like to thank the authors of this wonderful book on functional anatomy from Berlin from 1989. And we are going to start with the eye. And these are tremendous graphics. So I'll just bring this up close. And as you can see, the eye is wonderfully encased by bone. Uh, and the uh, eye is protected uh, by the skull and in any number of injuries that people can uh, incur the eye is amazingly protected. Then you look closer at the eye you'll see the tear duct that yellow area in the upper outer aspect of the eye <clears throat> and then at the front of the eye you'll see uh, the pupil and then the iris than the whites of the eye and that incredible musculature that surrounds the eye and controls all its movements in all different directions. So I'll just pan out of there real quick. All right, and then there's another wonderful graphic that we have here for you. And this goes into much more detail in terms of the anatomy, the vasculature of the eye. And that's this depiction here. So I'll bring it up close for you. So if you look at number nine, that's the pupil. And then uh, I believe that's number 15 is the lens. And looking at the back of the eye, number 21 is the retina. And then at the very back of the eye, you'll see <coughs> the optic nerve. It's that blue area extending uh, off the back of the eye. So you see how incredibly vasculature or vascular the eye is and see how fine those arteries are at the very back of the eye. And that is essentially it. So anyways, we're going to go into just a little bit of detail about each of the sensory organs, give you a basic idea of what the anatomy looks like, the vasculature that uh, nourishes that particular uh, organ and that's pretty much it and I hope you have a great day.